Vice-Chancellor, colleagues, graduates and guests, it is my privilege to welcome you to our ceremonies for the conferment of awards of the University of Roehampton. Before we begin this graduation ceremony, we will observe a minute of our silence to pay tribute to Her Majesty the late Queen Elizabeth II and to honour her service both to our nation and to the cause of education throughout the world. Please be silent. United in our grief, we commend our late Queen Elizabeth II, along with all who mourn her, especially King Charles III, to embrace the, of the eternal light of hope, the light that roots the past, the present, and the future in love. We remember Her Majesty's service to peoples of all nations, and especially to those places which members of our own community call from. We remember Her Majesty's commitment to a life of integrity and service, guided by her faith. Her values were those which we too have inherited through the two churches and the religious orders which found the three of our four constituent colleges values, which are still guide us as a community. May we, the living, continue to embody whatever is true, whatever is right, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, excellent and praiseworthy. Such qualities that each of us, in our diversity, saw in our late Queen Elizabeth II and devote them to the common good. Please be seated. Once again, welcome. As the Dean of Students, I'm delighted to welcome you today to this wonderful setting of the Royal Festival Hall. In a few moments, we'll welcome each one of our graduates up onto the stage where they will be greeted by our presiding officer, who is the Vice-Chancellor of the University, Professor Jean-Noël Essengard. Graduates' names will be announced by the Dean of School, Professor Lee Robinson. When crossing the stage, graduates will have the option of shaking hands with the presiding officer. For those who do not wish to shake hands, you may prefer to place your hand to your heart, and in which case you should indicate this as you cross. Once graduates have crossed the stage, we will hear from our student union president, Harrison Cohen who has a message of congratulations on behalf of his cohort. Before the Vice-Chancellor closes the ceremony, drinks receptions will take place on level four and level five, but first, please join me in welcoming the Vice-Chancellor who will formally begin the ceremony. Good morning and welcome again to this uh, great venue. This venue is particularly special. The best, the brightest, the most talented musicians have sat in these very seats and performed uh, on this very stage in the heart of the world's most vibrant capital city. 
And this place is special because it brings together the best of the best, people who go on to change the world around us and impact others for the better. And today, each of our students sat here joins this illustrious group. As vice chancellor of this wonderful university, there are many days that stand out, but presiding over the graduation ceremonies is the highlight. This year, graduation feels extra special as I have the honor to watch the September 2019 undergraduate cohort, my first intake of students from when I became vice chancellor in the same year. I'm delighted to welcome you and your loved ones to your graduation and for this chance to celebrate the fantastic achievements that you have made. You have had a unique experience during your studies, having spent much of your university degree studying during the pandemic. And although this was something that no one could have prepared you for, the pandemic has not defined you. Many of you are student leaders, volunteers, and many more are carers, part-time workers, and parents, whilst also a student here with us. And the strength of character, the determination, and the commitment that you have shown to achieve your best is remarkable. I'm sure that today, many of the people who have supported you throughout your degree will be watching on with pride as you cross the stage, wherever they are. And on behalf of our graduates, I also would like to thank academic and professional services colleagues who have helped our students make today possible offering a helping hand, going the extra mile, and for providing the much needed support and guidance over the years. So colleagues, thank you very much. There is a magnificent bust of Nelson Mandela, which you might have noticed outside this hall on the south side. And <clears throat> he once said, education, is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And that ethos is something that we hold dearly at Roehampton. Rooted in the long-standing history of our four colleges, we continue to provide access to education, no matter your background, so that our graduates become pioneers of society, leaders in their community. And of course, much has changed throughout our history, but what hasn't changed are these very values and our commitment to you, our students. As you enter the world of work, further study, travel, or in taking a moment to think about your future, you might well find yourself feeling uncertain about what happens next. Each of us undertakes a degree or decides to continue in education because we want to better ourselves and likely better others. However, it can often feel very uncertain, scary at times. And uh, if you're not sure what to do next, I want to assure you today that we all feel like that quite a lot of the time. My colleagues and I, those sat around you today, your future employers, your friends, your family, all feel like that. And my advice to you would be that each time you feel worried about what's coming next, turn to a trusted friend or a loved one for advice and focus in on your end goal. And remember, remember that uh, all of these moments of uncertainty form part of what makes you so very special. It's likely that you'll get a few things wrong during your career, but you'll get many more things right. And I know that you will grow in confidence and succeed beyond what you thought might be possible, just as you did during your degree. So in a few moments, I will welcome uh, every one of you uh, across the stage uh, and send you on your next step. And I'm encouraged by what is ahead of you all. As Roehampton graduates, your degree gives you infinite possibilities. You will face many, and that often comes hand in hand with challenges. But ask yourself, what is important to you and to the communities around you? How can I improve not only my life, but those of the people around me? As the next phase of your journey begins, I encourage you to look back with pride at what you have achieved. Be proud because we are proud of you. Always remember that such a high award isn't bestowed lightly by the university. You have earned it. So thank you for the hard work that has brought you here. And again, many congratulations.
I would now like to invite Professor Lee Robinson, Dean of the School of Humanities and Social Sciences, to present graduates for awards. Vice Chancellor, I present graduates from the School of Humanities and Social Sciences. In the name and authority of Roehampton University, I confer upon graduates present and graduates in absentia the award of first and higher degrees of the university. Degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Adebisi and Adenakan Kovitz. Adebisi's thesis is titled Nigerian Pentecostals and Reverse Mission in London and Amsterdam. They were supported in their studies by the Director of Studies, Professor John Ede, and their supervisor, Dr. Richard Burgess. <laughs> Lloyd George Richards. Lloyd's thesis is titled, A Study of Ordinary Theologies of Death in Selected Pentecostal Communities in Britain. They were supported in their studies by the Director of Studies, Dr. Neil MacDonald, and their supervisor, Dr. Richard Burgess. <laughs> Gronia Doherty. Gronia's thesis is titled, An Exploration of John Paul II's Theological Anthropology in the Context of His Theology of the Body and New Feminism in engagement with the perspectives and experiences of some Irish Catholic women. They were supported in their studies by her Director of Studies, Dr. Claire Watkins, and her supervisor, Professor Tina Beattie. <laughs> Matthew John Mordew. Matthew's title, thesis is titled, Pliny's Exemplary Society, Crafting Models in Letter. He was supported in his studies by his Director of Studies, Dr. Catherine Tempest, and his supervisor, Dr. Marta Garcia Wasilo. <laughs> Degree of Doctor of Theology. David John Wise. David's thesis is titled, Developing a Genuinely Multi-Ethnic Local Church Congregation, an Auto-Ethnographic Investigation into Greenford Baptist Church, 1987 to 2014. He was supported in the studies by his Director of Studies, Dr. John Moxon, and his supervisor, Dr. Julian Gotebed. Degree of Master of Arts, Karira Akashi. Imogen Eleanor Easton. Namrata Mystery. Eri Nagano. <laughs> Catherine Ann Setchfield. <laughs> Yuki Tanaguchi. <laughs> Melanie Caruana. Neve O'Donovan. <laughs> Olivia Edo. <laughs> Jade Carmen Marie Sweetman. <laughs> 
Tsukai Katsandan. Phoebe Catherine Lee Quinn Lim. Joshua Sawada. Gillian May Lee. Sananjit Kwa Hay. Sharif Faraj. Hideaki Suzuki. Degree of Master of Research, Fiona Elizabeth Henderson. Postgraduate Diploma, Olivia Butcher. Dana Hussein. Aisha Bahat Ahmed. Elama Ahmed. Mahi Aksa Baseri Turva Award for Achievement. Holly Austin Perchard. Jordan Christophis. Belvine Gabha. Muskan Ko Grover. Wednesday Helston <laughs> Samiha Islam <laughs> Indigo Altima Nana Hua King Sarah Turvey Award for Achievements Guy Amelia Lucas, Prize for Outstanding Achievement in Dissertation. <laughs> Maimam Ahmed Abdullahi Imam. <laughs> Janotis Safa Sheikh, Prize for English Literature Achievements. Holly Georgia Simmons. <laughs> Aisha Sedeka Uden. <laughs> Musa Asanya. Peggy Senpil, the John Wesley Award for Contributions to Chaplaincy. <laughs> Courtney Grace Selena Butel. <laughs> Nicole Chloe Lumley. Amy Louise Manley. <laughs> Sophie Angela Monich. <laughs> 
Edward Reynolds. Deal Dadani. Nichelle Monique Everett. Thank you. <laughs> Gemma Marie Pope. Ermelinda Melisi. Zara to fail. <laughs> Madiha Mubarak Chima, prize for history dissertation. <laughs> Alice Elizabeth Bollins Exley, prize for classical civilization dissertation. Rifka Gabrizadik. <laughs> Kofi Thomas Aliu. <laughs> Maria Alexandra Belness. Gianni Paul. <laughs> Alam Rashid Ismail. <laughs> Jonas Mohammed. <laughs> Gemma Pegg. Daria Sale. <laughs> Zoe Emma Fairweather. <laughs> Marie Rosenver Humble. Jesse River Dylan Mary Combined Honours Achievement Certificate. <laughs> Asiya Abdullahi Mohammed. <laughs> Liana Quadros. Marina Lugo. <laughs> Patricia Maria Barriats. <laughs> Zyra Brassington, Prize for Creative Writing Achievement Certificate. Becky Davison, Creative Writing Achievement Award. <laughs> Georgia Ellen Doyle. <laughs> Marja Carolina Drewek. <laughs> Darina and Tennisova Germanova. <laughs> Axinia Ionova. <laughs> Kendra Say Transniqui. <laughs> Megan Faye Lewis. 
Prize for Creative Writing Achievement Certificate. Dekha Yusuf Mohammed. Kanun Errol Bunny Morrissey. Emily Louise Nagel. Elliot Nixon. Ekaterina Rari. <laughs> Sophie Ann Reagan. <laughs> Shannon Jo Robinson. <laughs> Halima Romat. Elise Joanna Silverson. <laughs> Oli Wafaranmi Rebecca Oluwakami Segan. <laughs> Athena Endek Mary Sunderland. Craig Patrick Appleby. <laughs> Abigail Gabrielle Michaela Baptiste. <laughs> Myred Ursula Campbell. Elizabeth Mary Dunlop. <laughs> Kyle Addison Fairley. <laughs> Eleanor Casimira Fazana Francois. <laughs> Joshua Michael Philbrook. Robert Sansom. <laughs> Bailey Turner. <laughs> Brandon Darren Wright, the Rosemary J. Barrow Prize. <laughs> Chloe Toms Yeoman. Phoebe Linda Boylan. <laughs> Haley Emily McKell, Prize for History and Philosophy Dissertation. <laughs> Eduardo Ramirez Roa, Prize for History and Politics Dissertation. Degree of Bachelor of Science, Haja Shakur. <laughs> Paula Okutungu. <laughs> Luke Childs. Samiha Hussain. <laughs> Sumeya Mohammed, Outstanding Student in Sociology Prize. <laughs> Thyra Montague Imbestari. Kimberly Jane Alden. <laughs> A 
Aruj Tarek. <laughs> Evie Elizabeth Walsh. <laughs> Hannah Annie Wilkins. <laughs> Lois May Cooper. Anna Michelle Evans, prize for their sociology dissertation. <laughs> Leonie Lola Naomi Simon. <laughs> Chloe Smith. Anasia Goldie. <laughs> Rabia Abubakar Afdal. <laughs> Jojo Regina Allen Welsh. <laughs> Elima Chowdhury. <laughs> Nadine Ellish. <laughs> Anne Katrine Franz. <laughs> Jamil Hosing. Nahid Koka. <laughs> Monica Mystery Max. <laughs> J Jalila Doreen Nakazibwe. <laughs> Shauna O'Callaghan. Abigail Rosalind Hanoiti Morgan. <laughs> Safa Sharif Salah. <laughs> Norhan Adele Ismail Solomon. Christina Stotcheva. <laughs> Jody Collins. <laughs> Deanna Jane Vincent Hart. <laughs> Sawab Salah I Abore. Nasia Ali. Aura Christina Avenia Zapola. Sunita Barakse. Shelby Melissa Briggs. <laughs> Lily Jerambash. <laughs> Harry Jack Fernley. <laughs> Isabella Serena Gillies. Marianne Hassam.
Sophia Farah Hussain, Prize for Outstanding Achievement. China Hutchins. Zaka Hussein. Andreas Subonis. Gottlieb Kofi Hislicker. Abdinasa Jama. Danelle Elijah Simon James Ogunusi. Georgia Michelle Kershaw. Eleanor Jasmine Lodge. <laughs> Eleanor Maturienpo. Aaron George McLean. Roger Merrick. Murphy John Mitchell. Ekaterini Muzaraki. Sahana Jeeva. <laughs> Jihan Osama Mohammed. <laughs> Katerina Perea Princip. <laughs> James Edward Poots. Katie Scarlett Burns. Twinkle Ravi Ravadia. Safar Ruhi. Elvan Sarapul. <laughs> Exi Sahadi. <laughs> Safia Rashida Simmons. Sasha Margaret Jean Sterling Tierney. <laughs> Daniela Kairma Yeboah. <laughs> Shema Zer. Elias Zer, prize for the criminology dissertation. <laughs> Rebecca Driver. <laughs> Keisha Katrina Laidlaw.
prize for best overall performance. I would like to say a very big thank you to Nicola O'Keefe. I don't believe there's any row without her. Edvinas Stepanovicius. Amira Aiden. <laughs> Diana Diti. <laughs> Carolyn Stiller. <laughs> Degree of Bachelor of Arts. Sarah Khalifi. <laughs> Marie Van Dendel. <laughs> Heron Paulos. <laughs> Degree of Bachelor of Theology. Michael Nyamkwe Davids. Adriano De Freitas Ferreira. Paul Dangu Karanje Mawara. Rachel Kubai Gathoni. <laughs> Hannah Maria. <laughs> Carolyn Wenjiru Kamal. Lucy Minani Mary Duati Catherine Drew Moi, Prize for Academic Achievement and for Best Final Year Project. <laughs> Augustine Aberge Quenin. <laughs> Juan Marco Ravello. Sylvester Kwame Tufo. <laughs> Esther Wambu Wara. <laughs> Foundation Degree of Arts, Godwin Adonu. De Felix Girog Mbuthia. <laughs> Isaac Gatia Kimondo. <laughs> Mary Wanjiku Bugia. Gladys Jerry Mariti. Christine Wanjiku Kamimia. Elbert.
Margaret Badu York. <laughs> Vivian Piranha. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I now present graduands from Roehampton online. Degree of Master of Arts, Abby Anignobga. Thank, Thank you. Oscar Mumbo. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, this ends the conferment of awards. I now invite the President of the Students' Union to say a few words. Good morning, Class of 2022. Today is about the past, present and future. Many of you may think your uni days have gone by quickly, and they say your uni days are some of the best days of your lives. I'll let you decide whether you think that's true or not. I'd somewhat agree. And that may make you sad, as this stage of your life for most of you has now come to a close. But if you are feeling sad about that thought, then now is the perfect time to think about those happy days, the past. Think about your first times. Your first time stepping onto campus, first freshers week, first lecture, first lunch with your peers, and also those lasts, your last assignment, your last time in the library, your last pub grub, your last day. I hope you think about those first times and those final times with a smile on your face, because these are all memories of your time at Roehampton. And while these are now memories, you have so many more first times ahead of you that you're yet to experience. And today, the present, is a time that should help you realize just how far you've come and that you are now one step closer to your future. You may have noticed that I did not include your last time on campus as one of your lasts, because I hope at some point in your future that you find yourself back on campus, as I hope Roehampton continues to be a welcoming environment which includes all of you as alumni. Let's take a moment now to rewind. I think when we were younger, we all had that something we were invested in. Something that gave us a sense of belonging, skills, and something we might reflect on from time to time. Whether it be a, a theater group, a sports team, a faith community, a martial art, a musical instrument. Perhaps for many of us, this may have been pushed aside at some point. And why? Because life gets in the way? During your time at Roehampton, I hope you've been able to find something like this again, something you're invested in. Perhaps you joined a society, a sports team, been involved with Student Voice, all of which we aim to assist you with as a student's union to help you make the most out of your university experience. I hope you found passion for something you once loved or found passion for something new I hope you're able to continue this as you move on with your next stage of your journey. And this something is something that I hope continues to remind you of your time at Roehampton. I'd like to wish luck to anyone starting new jobs, whether it may be in your field of study or not, those working in the education or health sector, those starting their own businesses, those continuing with their studies, those applying for jobs, those taking, for some, those taking some time for themselves, and those who may be sat here not knowing what happens next. Just like you have all had such different journeys here at Roehampton, experienced a pandemic, but have all come out graduating, 
Your onward journeys in life will all be so different, but you'll be okay. I'd like to take a moment to thank our staff team, including our academic staff, our non-academic staff, professional services, all those doing their best to keep you safe and supported. I hope you developed friendships, the friends you made in lectures, societies, sports teams, perhaps on the bus to Barn Station. So here's to friendship, and to celebrate that friendship, regardless of whether you've stepped foot onto our campus or not, please join me in a selfie with all of us together as one. Here's to the parents. The parents sat here watching your children graduate. The parents graduating with your children here watching you graduate. Here's to your loved ones and your friends here in support. I'd like to spare a thought for the parents, family members, loved ones and friends who didn't have the chance to be here but would have been so proud to have been here today. Here's to our non-binary students queer students, trans students, international students, commuting students, mature students, students being the first ones in their families to go to university, students from all walks of life. Here's to our nocturnal students, northern students, students born and bred in London, students born and bred in Roehampton. Here's to all of you, class of 2022, the students made in Roehampton. Thank you. I'd now like to invite the Vice Chancellor to close the ceremony. Thank you, Harrison. What a job following that. Uh, as we come towards the end of our ceremony, I would like to take this last opportunity on behalf of the staff at the university to congratulate you all. Well done. And, and there is one other group of people we need to thank and congratulate. It's your supporters your family, your friends, who have been with you every step of the way, encouraging you with an online grocery order paid for, fuel for the car, or perhaps just a smile, a hug, or a word of advice. So I would like our graduates to stand, turn around to face your family and friends, and thank them in the usual fashion. Thank you. As, as Harrison said earlier, while this ceremony gives you and your friends and family a chance to celebrate your achievements, it doesn't mark the end of our relationship with you. And in helping you to succeed, we also aim to give you an alma mater that you are proud of long after you leave. We want you to be boomerang graduates come back often, in person or virtually. You're now part of a global network of Roehampton alumni. Make that network your extended family, part of your extended family, that will continue to look out for you and that you will look out for. Many members of that alumni network have committed their time to support, mentor, and advise recent graduates on their next steps. And I would personally encourage you to sign up for mentoring support if you get a chance. You can find out more about the mentoring scheme and the Alumni Association online. 180 years ago, our first students, all women, of our first college, Whitelands, were enrolled to train as teachers. And our lives today are very different to those women, but one can imagine that they too might have thought about their next step with a mix of trepidation 
and excitement. And for those women and the many thousands of graduates who have gone before you over the last 180 years, the core values of our founding colleges have endured and inform our purpose today, providing the best education possible to everyone who can benefit, regardless of their background. Understanding and improving our world through spirit of curiosity and discovery, and helping our students to acquire the confidence, the knowledge, and the adaptability they need for a successful graduate career and a fulfilling life. Your generation, the class of 2022, will make decisions that will shape our future. In fact, not just our future, but also that of those around us. You will become leaders, team players, influencers, and change makers. Whatever your choice, we wish you every success on your journey, and we will watch you with pride. So once again, congratulations. The ceremony for the conferment of degrees is now closed.